With the Zika virus continuing to plague St. Lucia and the rest of the Caribbean, the Environmental Health Department of the Ministry of Health, as well as FDL Pest Control Solutions, have teamed up to conduct a pilot project to help curb the issue of mosquito infestation. This project will see the introduction of a new mosquito trapping system called the Mosquito Intucat Trap, which will be implemented and tested in the communities of Gadet and Montparnasse in the Mabuya Valley. GVD News spoke to the Vector Control Supervisor for Regions 3, 4, and 5, Mr. Anseltas Johnville, who explained that these two communities were chosen as testing locations because of the prevalence of mosquitoes in these areas. Johnville explained that that the mosquito levels are higher in these communities due to the poor source of running water in these areas which forces residents to store water in containers and resulting in breeding grounds for mosquitoes. In the community of Gadiad right now we are setting some traps, um, some N2K traps to trap the mosquitoes around. The reason why we choose um, Gadiad and um, one panache is because after an inspection the amount of containers we found around the, the houses and the lack of water in the area. So we choose those two areas as a pilot project and if we find that, um, that it's working properly that we will continue in the other areas. Lance Peterson, an employee at FDL Pest Control Solutions, provided GVD News with a breakdown on the introduction of this new trap, its design and how it works, as well as his organization's role in assisting in the project. He also gave an account of the number of traps situated in each community. The trap was um, designed by the Bill Gates Foundation as um well, funded by the Bill Gates um, Foundation, designed by a company called Intuke, namesake, the trap is called Intuke as well, the uh, company in Holland. And it was um, designed to help with the malaria issue in Africa. But given our situation here in the Caribbean, I, we saw it fit that we introduce it to our people. And uh, FDL, for its part, in playing our role in, in, in supporting vulnerable communities like this, in helping to alleviate the high mosquito populations, we see it as a very important aspect of our day-to-day -day duties as corporate citizens. Okay, the trap, it basically looks like a flower bucket. So you'd have it in your environment and not even really notice something standing out. So it was designed to just blend and flow with your, with your landscape. The trap would contain three liters of water. That's the medium where the mosquitoes would lay the eggs and breed. In our packet, we have um, a fungus, a bacteria, and two breast yeast tablets. The breast yeast tablets, they would release carbon dioxide that would attract the mosquitoes to the bucket. Mosquitoes are associate carbon dioxide with warm blood. When we breathe out, we breathe out carbon dioxide, so mosquitoes say, hey, that's a meal. So they come towards us. Right, so when the bucket mimics us breathing out, mosquitoes come towards, come towards the bucket, it lays the, the eggs in the bucket, right? In doing so, the bacteria, it's an insect growth regulator, which should prevent the mosquitoes from getting out of the larval stage. That's the stage where you see the wigglers in the water, right? It would never fly out of that bucket. It would stay there and just live, live young and continue living young and never turn into an adult. It picks up that bacteria and it spreads it to all the breeding sites around the property within a 400 square meter radius. So that's a lot, a lot of space. Right, it covers. So one bucket would serve an average five to six households in a tight knit community. For Gadet, we're going to put down 20 and we'll go ahead to Montparnasse and put a further 20. Johnville also indicated that there will be a decrease in the number of mosquitoes granted this new procedure is successful. If it works as supposed to, it will reduce the population. So we will not have the problems that we have in there with all the zikas and the chicken gonias we had before. He believes that distribution of these traps will go a long way in decreasing the mosquito population in St. Lucia. They believe that if this trial is a success and upon further evaluation, many other communities will benefit from the advantages of this new mosquito trapping system. Giselle Francis, GVD News.